everyone. Isn't this incredible? We're out here in the outdoor parking lot of the World Health Organization and smoking is completely prohibited. Around the world today, we are seeing more and more smoke-free places, both indoors and outdoors, and seeing more signs exactly like this one. And we all know why. Tobacco is harmful for health, not only for smokers, but also to the people who are exposed to secondhand smoke. Even for smokers who are well informed of the harms of tobacco, quitting can be incredibly difficult. I spoke with an expert and he shared three of the major challenges to quitting tobacco. As a tobacco user, their body and the brain get used to functioning on a certain level of nicotine. If they quit, that means their body needs to learn how to function without nicotine. This adjustment process will make them feel uncomfortable and cause withdrawal symptoms. Okay, so that was our first challenge, addiction to nicotine. Dongbo shared the second major challenge, which is the ways that tobacco use is intimately tied to social activities or behaviors. Things like hanging out with friends, having a cup of coffee, or talking on the phone. Now, let's hear about the third challenge. As a tobacco user, they normally link tobacco use and tobacco with certain emotions, thoughts, and the beliefs via the process of withdrawal we just mentioned and also operant conditioning. For example, they tend to smoke when they feel angry, they feel stressed, they feel happy, or they feel sad. So that means part of quitting need to break these subconscious thoughts. Once a tobacco user has decided that they want to quit, what are some of the first steps they can take? Well, in addition to consulting a physician, they can start by setting a quit date, something like a birthday or an anniversary. Also, tell the people around you that you're trying to quit. Your friends and family can support you during this challenging time. Anticipate cravings. When you're feeling a desire to use tobacco, you should have an activity in mind, something like having a glass of water, going for a run, or eating a healthy snack. Also, it's important to make your environment tobacco-free. Remove any lighters, ashtrays, or cigarette packs from around you to reduce any temptations. Let's hear from Dongbo for a few extra tips on quitting tobacco. There are a range of uh, behavior or psychological tobacco cessation interventions which can be used to support tobacco use to quit. For example, they may associate with other habits or behavior such as uh, eating, such as watching TV, such as talking on the phone or hanging out with friends. And to quit tobacco also means they need to break these connections that have formed the habit. Many people actually quit successfully without assistance. However, without cessation assistance, the chance of success quitting is low. A maximum of only 4% of attempts to quit tobacco will succeed. Many years after quitting, tobacco users may still fear craving for tobacco because tobacco users normally have their tobacco use so intimately tied to their everyday activities and also so closely linking to their uh, emotional thoughts, uh, beliefs. So even after they quitting, whenever they expose to smoking cues, will let them like craving for smoking again. With your quit plan being made, you can more likely to quit successfully. During the quitting process, you may seek additional support from health professionals, tobacco mm -hmm. treatment specialists. They can provide you personalized advice and support. With their support, I'm sure you will quit successfully. Quitting tobacco can be difficult, but it's not impossible. The benefits for your health, your relationships, and even your finances are immeasurable. So good luck, and we're here to support you. You can do it.